dating the Aquarius woman. You know what? I was just asked not too long ago what would be my ideal date or woman to date. I think that was how it was phrased, the question was. And it's not until now that I'm doing these videos that I figured it out. And it's the Aquarius woman. Let me explain to you my experiences dating the Aquarius woman. Now this may, I call this weird science and you may find it weird. It might just be. Every time I start dating an Aquarius woman, it happens suddenly. It happens out of nowhere. Like I could be on my way somewhere, all of a sudden it's hot. They're always exotic. Every Aquarius woman that I've dated are exotic women, right? So they are, you can't miss them, right? Just pop up out of nowhere. And not only that, come right to me and say what it is that they need to say. And it's just like, do I know you? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, you do now. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm trying to get to know you more. So what are you doing later? You know what I'm saying? Maybe not those words, but definitely. And they have these voices, Aquarius women, that are the most sexiest voices that I've ever heard in my life. It's kind of deep. Not not manly deep, but it's kind of deep though. Like, But it's like real sexy and like, yeah, and like very jazzy. Like, Like it's... That's the best way I can describe it right now. You know what I mean? So that right there is a turn on to me. Again, it's, I, I think it's the quirkiness about it is, as well. It's just kind of like, you know, that was pretty sudden and pretty bold of you to do that. And this is every time I meet with an Aquarius woman. So I'm actually probably have to detail to you stories to pinpoint why I found this the more ideal situation for me. Um, dealing with Aquarius women, dating Aquarius women, I don't necessarily have to bang them and I can feel a stronger connection to them than I would if I was banging them a lot. You understand what I'm talking about? So I've been in situations dating Aquarius women where the ideal person from the outside looking in will say, yo, bro, she's cheating on you. I'd be like, what do you mean? Like, no, nah, I just seen her coming out of so-and-so house. Like they're banging, dude. Like you don't know about this. Are you the last one to know about this? And that might be true. I might be the last one to know about it. You understand what I'm talking about? Let's say in the scenario, it is that way. Okay, now that I know, I go and I check the Aquarius woman. I'm like, yo, what's this I heard about X, Y, and Z? Oh, let me tell you this, that, and that, 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 Confesses to it. Okay. And I'm like, okay, now you may see me as the square in this dating relationship. You may see me as the sucker in this relationship, right? Not so. Not so, because first this is what I learned about dating Aquarius woman. They want to be your friend. They want you to be their friend. And if you can't pass, and I know that's not a simple test, right? She's banging somebody else. But you just got to understand, the way that I get introduced to this Aquarius woman, or they introduce themselves to me, is like in a way that's very obvious that they like me, but we haven't really been together that long. We haven't really done a whole lot of stuff together to solidify that we are like that you know what i'm saying so can i withstand her having sex outside of our relationship yeah i can i'm not that attached so i figured this out about aquarius women the same way that they're not attached to things neither am i <laughs> in the bigger scheme of things i'm really not when i want to be attached to something it's because it's worldly meaning it gets to actually pull me out of my deep blue sea and come out onto the land and see and experience and value what these other people value otherwise i don't care i'll be off in la la land somewhere off the grid in a cabin just chilling you know what i mean but aquarius woman lets me see oh look you can come up here be weird and have all of these people thinking the cliche regular way that people think while we're thinking on a whole new level of pattern because we get each other to that higher extent you know what i'm saying so i've been in a relationship with an aquarius woman where they would to the um i to the cliche people to the ordinary people would look at it and be like nah that can't be so like how do you stay with her she's cheating on you dude i don't see it as cheating i see it as that's my girl having an experience like open relationships or swingers what do they call it cuckolds i'm probably pronouncing it wrong or i don't have the correct name for that but 
you know, guys who are married to their wives and they let other guys bang them and they're like, this makes my wife happy. I want you to come bang my wife. You're not going to come bang my wife. Like, that's kind of the type of relationships that I have with Aquarius women. You know what I'm saying? So why else would this turn me on? Well, my father pretty much has the potential to manage women is what I'm talking about, is how I'm going to state this, right? It's not a pimp, right? Very well-versed in managing women. And I just happen to carry on that trait. I don't try too hard. So I always ask myself, am I trying to be like my dad or is this something that I just inherited? I don't try too hard. It's just something that falls right into my lap every time, especially when I'm trying to force my way to think another way because it gotta be a different way. It's no, this works for you, dude. So work it out. Manage these women. What I've noticed about dating Aquarius women is I always get the opportunity to be that type of dude. So I'll tell you another story, another brief story about another Aquarius woman I was with, right? This woman, and look, this woman did the sweetest thing to me. Aquarius women like to be near water too, so I love that, right? So this Aquarius woman was going through some things as, at this time, right? And I don't mean it in a bad way. All I'm saying is she wasn't where she wanted to be, and a lot of people are like that, right? However, I'm always the type of dude where I'm where I need to be until, you know, I just got to be in the moment and do what I need to do now to get me to where I need to be. And then when I need to be there, it'll be the same thing, repeat pattern. You understand what I'm talking about? It's all about the journey for me. So, but I realized that this Aquarius woman not being where she wanted to be disturbed her. You know what I mean? So we started being in the same vicinity every day, whatever the case may be. Now again, pops up suddenly, someone, no, no one tapped me, pops up suddenly, right? I'm doing my work. I turn around. She's right there exotic she's got like purple hair purple in her hair you know she got a colorful jacket on it's like three hundred dollars for the jacket like i'm like yo what where'd you come from she was like no because i was over there but he told me to come over here and talk to you because you are the guy that da -da 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 i said nah but that's the guy that handles that -da 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 -da. she's like no but i need to come see you because I don't like him over there and I don't really rock with them like that. So it's just, again, this sudden introduction that is just like, where did you come from? You know what I'm saying? And very can't miss her. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, All right, I start talking to her. We chopping it up. We become friends. We become associates instantly. You know what I'm saying? To the point where I'm like, yo, I like this chick. She's cool. You know what I'm saying? She feels the same way about me. Um, but at the same time, she gets a text, a phone call. A boyfriend, you could tell she's bothered by it. Like, ah, 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 they having that type of quarrel with it, ever the case. And be, I'm like, all right, cool. But she takes my number on the way out. So if you heard me speak about this or mention this before in Aquarius videos, I'm like, yo, listen, to me, they like being in love with two people at the same time. And I'm just saying, too, you know, it could be more. You know what I'm saying? And even if it's just mentally or one is physically and one is mentally, then they can, they will juggle it. They will balance this. So this was the situation with this girl. Now, this girl, I found out that she she did the sweetest thing one day, right? I won't ever forget this. Um, she didn't really have it like that. You know what I'm saying? But she came to visit me one day. She was like, where are you at? Where you live at? She came to see me. The first time she came to see me, right? She came and got me, and we're walking. She was like, just walk with me. Just walk with me. Because when she found out where I was, she got excited because she had family that lived up there. So she started bringing me to her blocks and introducing me to her family members. I'm like, oh, all right. So boom, I went with her. I met, I met her family and stuff like that. I'm like, all right, cool. So she was like, come with me, come with me in here real quick. We went into McDonald's. And I was like, um, I don't have no money right now. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know we was going to like do anything. This is kind of sudden for me. You know what I'm saying? She was like, nah, don't worry about it. I got it. I don't really got no money either. But I got like $2 and she was counting out the change and all of that. She had enough to get us two Sundays. She spent her absolute last on getting us two Sundays. Came all the way to see me. She had to travel far to come see me to do this. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, this is a woman that I know was not where she wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? So that right there set me off. Like, you know what I'm saying? I started doing stuff for her, like those kind romantic gestures that I wouldn't do for other signs and stuff like that. I was doing for her. You know what I'm saying? Sneakers and stuff like that. So one time I got her some stuff. And she had me meet her at a time where her boyfriend or her other boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, was meeting her at the same time. So she wanted to see me hand the bag over to her. She wanted him to see that. You know what I'm saying? 
And I look at that as like pimp type quality. So should I say management of men and women? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I was out there selling pussy. I'm not saying that Aquarius women do not be mad at me when I'm saying. I'm stating that Aquarius women that I've dated know what that type of lifestyle is about. You know what I'm saying? So like I told you, this girl popped up with a $300 jacket and all like that. She would come into the environment, into the community, not dressed like that most of the time. She'd come in like sweatsuits and stuff like that, but well kept, you know what I'm saying? Sweatsuits and stuff like that, covering, not being too revealing or whatever the case may be. But I've noticed when it came to after work, she would leave early, come back or come back to the block and pop up in nighttime with like stunning, drop dead gorgeous type, over the top type stuff on and come and grab my arm and be like, come on, let's go. And mind you, this is a, at a time where everybody is outside. Like, she couldn't have timed it any better. But what she's doing is she's promoting me as that dude that knows how to manage women. Every dude is hollering at this chick. Every dude. And they can't get to her the way that they want to get to her because of me. You understand what I'm saying? So I've learned how to play my role in this situation, dating these women every single time. Every single time out. I spoke about great things. The one thing that makes me uncomfortable about dating Aquarius women is the repetitive. It's like a, it's like a, a loop, almost karmic. It's a repetitive loop of conversation to where we can talk and we can talk and we can talk and I'll enjoy it. However, there'll come a time when I'll be like, didn't we talk about this before? And she'll be like, yeah. And then will be like, well, why, why are we talking about it again? Oh, because it didn't happen. Well, why didn't it happen? You know what I'm saying? So when I say like, yo, Aquarius women like drama, this is what I'm talking about because they got to know this doesn't happen with me once. This happens repetitive. So I'm like, oh, we're talking about this again? Why didn't it happen, ma? Because we didn't go and do it. And why didn't we go do it together? Because they got this sense of adventure about them. However, I'm looking at it like this. If you don't initiate that adventure, that's that spark that gets your feet to moving and, and, and letting me know that it's real, then I don't, I don't accept it. I'm rejecting it. I don't think it's real to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go chase after you because, if anything, I'm going to be the other guy that's not. Because I know there's some other guy involved somewhere, whether it's in your head or if it's a physical thing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm preparing myself for that every time I date Aquarius women. Um, however, I think that they just make the best type of women to assist me in my management of women and that's important to me. You know what I'm saying? That is something that is needed. I need that type of friendship in my life. You know what I mean? For things to mesh well. So that was fun.